Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, we are back with another Indian um, dish. This is from South India, I guess. So I believe it is um, Kerala style chicken uh, liver curry with coconut milk. The flavors are just wow, amazing, spicy, creamy, um, and uh, it's super easy and quick to make. So let's show you guys how to make it. To make this recipe here, we have half a kilogram of chicken liver that of course we washed really well and Cut into bite-sized pieces. Uh, one onion. Uh, it's a little over medium, so it's not medium, but it's not large. It's in between. That is finely chopped. Here we have about two medium tomatoes that we've blended. Uh, one large uh, green chili. A handful of curry leaves. Teaspoon ginger powder. Teaspoon garlic powder. If you have ginger, uh, ginger paste and garlic paste. Sorry. So teaspoon ginger paste. Teaspoon garlic paste. And if you have ginger garlic paste, that's better. Um, this is 250 milliliters of uh, coconut milk, about three tablespoons coconut oil, salt and pepper to taste, and then one teaspoon coriander powder, one teaspoon garam masala, one teaspoon cumin, and then half a teaspoon chili powder, a quarter teaspoon turmeric. So in a bowl, we've poured in the chicken liver, um, and now we're going to add to it uh, some coriander powder. And to the turmeric powder, we'll all, uh, to the coriander, we'll add some turmeric, just a little bit, not too much. And we're going to mix it together. Uh, and now we're just going to set them aside and move to the next step. So we've heated our pan on medium heat and now we're going to add in the coconut oil. So once the coconut oil has heated up a little, now we're going to add in the curry leaves and we're going to saute them so once you've sauteed them just a little bit uh, we're going to add in the onion and we're also going to be adding in chili and we're going to saute them until the onion turns transparent so now that the onions have turned nice and transparent we're going to add in the ginger and the garlic paste and we're going to saute those in until you don't smell that raw uh, smell of garlic and ginger anymore. So I don't smell that raw garlic and ginger smell anymore. Now I'm going to add in the tomatoes. So now we're just going to let the tomatoes cook, I guess, until you see the oil start to flow to the surface. So the oil has started to separate the the tomatoes have cooked and as you can see there is no more liquid so now we're going to season them so salt first pepper now we're going to start adding in the other spices so coriander powder cumin chili powder, turmeric. Now uh, we're going to mix the spices all in. Once you've mixed in all of the spices, now we're going to add in the garam masala. And we're going to mix it to get in uh, with the rest of the spices. So uh, after you've mixed in all of the spices, now we're going to add a little bit of water just uh, so that we can get a nice consistency. And we're going to mix that in for like maybe two minutes. And now we're just going to add in the liver. 
and gently mix it in. So once we've gently mixed in the liver, we'll let it cook for, I'd say, five minutes. So uh, after about five minutes, now we're going to add in the coconut milk. And we're going to just gently give it a mix. So once you've mixed, uh, you've gently mixed in everything. Now we're going to leave it on medium, to on low to medium heat, and we're going to cover it and let it cook for 20 to 25 minutes at most. Uh, it should be enough for the liver to cook, uh, because otherwise it might overcook and turn a little hard. We don't want tough liver. And of course, make sure to taste for salt, so that you can add uh, or adjust salt as you want. So this is what it looks like. Um, I have I made some rice, but I wanted to have it with some chapati, so I made it with some chapati. I'm gonna eat that. It smells so good, and I cannot wait to try it. So let's try it. So for the record, for those of you who don't know chapati, it's a type of Indian flatbread. And I think it's one of my favorites. It goes really well with pretty much everything. The flavors are just wow. I mean, it's kind of spicy, of course. Um, the chicken liver gives it a nice hint of creaminess, I guess. It's, it's very weird, but it gives it that hint of creaminess in my opinion. And it works really great balance. The coconut milk gives it also that creaminess, um, so it can reduce the spiciness a little. And um, I just hi highly recommend making this because it is so good. So yeah. So this brings us to the end of today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And if you like this kind of content, please like, share, subscribe, and um, comment down below so you guys can support me to make more content. Also, do follow me on my social media. I'm available on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Discord. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.